What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up NordVPN to work within QBitTorrent. That way when you're using the internet, you can be on your regular connection, but whenever you download a torrent, it automatically downloads on the VPN proxy. So what we're going to do is you need to have QBitTorrent installed and you need to go to uh, NordVPN's official server tools page. Now, I'll put a link to this in the description, but it's basically just nordvpn.com slash servers slash tools. And what you want to do is not just use the first one that comes up. Um, you're going to choose your country. And then, oops, then you're going to choose P2P, person-to-person -person transfers. So it supports um, downloading torrents and such. And then we're going to choose SOX5. And with these three settings um, set, it'll give you the fastest server available with all those settings allowed. So I'm going to copy this address. Now, in QBitTorrent, we're going to go to Settings, sorry, Tools, choose Options, and you're going to go to Connection. Now, under Connection, you're going to see Proxy Server. This is where we need to put the NordVPN server. So we're going to choose our SOX5 proxy, we're going to paste our host name. We're going to change the port from 8080 to 1080 because that's what NordVPN uses for their SOX5 proxy. And you're going to say use proxy for peer connections and use proxy for torrents. And you need to authenticate. So this is going to be your NordVPN username and password. So. Alright, so we're going to hit apply and hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a torrent. So let's go ahead and add a torrent. It's on my desktop and it is Ubuntu. And wherever is fine. And we're going to see if this works. So it's connecting to the proxy. It's currently stalled because it's making the files and connecting to everything. And now it's downloading. So to test this, let's go ahead and go to tools and go to options. Go to connection and let's turn off authentication and hit apply. And it should, after a moment, lose the setting. And um, let's go ahead and stop this real quick. It's okay. It says, let's pause this. So if I hit play, it says that it's stalled because it's no longer connected using the proxy. Um, but if I go into, actually it's finding seeds. Will it connect to any of them? I don't think it will. Good. So without the password, without the proxy, it will not download anything unless you have your credentials and everything set up and then that's how you test to make sure it's actually working so if we um, pause this again and hit play it should connect to the proxy and it should start downloading in just a moment which will show us that it's again working and this is really important in case you forget to turn on NordVPN um, you're going to want to make sure that you're protected on any kind of torrent software because Comcast and AT&T and all those providers will go through and um, either throttle or send you copyright notices if you download certain torrents. So it's important to keep your traffic encrypted and this is a really great way to do it. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.